also in action this weekend the uh, welterweight prospect and one of the one of the two or three fighters keeping golden boy alive Virgil Ortiz gets the ninth round stoppage over Michael McKinson um you know entertaining fight both undefeated guys coming in looking to prove something I, I think the main takeaway for me at least when I watch Virgil Ortiz who I love I think he's got all the potential in the world I don't see based on that performance I can't see him seriously challenging the likes of a Bud Crawford or even someone like a Boots Ennis. I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but that's I'm dying to hear your take on this because I really like Virgil Ortiz, but if this guy McKinson had any punching power, I think he could have hit him a few times and like done some damage. But um, like I say, Virgil eventually wore him down, laid some beautiful uppercuts and body work on him eventually ninth round. Um, I think the corner stopped it in the ninth after having it, after having McKinson down in the eighth. How'd you like it? And what'd you think about um, Ortiz's performance? Do you think he's ready for that next level? I like Ortiz. He's I only, like, only 24 years old. I like him a lot. I like him after the fight, the way he conducts himself, the way he talks. He's articulate. He's a gentleman. He's humble. Um, I like the way he fights. I like the way he's developing. That's the key word to, to your point developing let him continue developing he's young um and he's let him keep growing let him keep getting better uh keep him away from Crawford keep him away from those guys you just mentioned there's no need to go there right now uh and and listen there's no knock on him those are special guys you just mentioned you know we still got to find out about Boots Anders he still has to be tested at that next level but he looks pretty damn good uh but Crawford doesn't have to be tested we know what he is and we know what Spence is so uh keep him away from those guys and again it's it's no knock on them. Those guys are special. Those guys are special. That would be like back in the 80s saying, uh, keep someone away from Sugar Ray Leonard or Tommy Hearns or Roberto Duran. No knock on them. Those guys are special. Keep them away. Uh, they're, they're not ready yet. And Teddy, I'll, I'll say this about Ortiz just for the, for those who may not know. He's 19-0 and 0 with 19 knockouts, but more importantly, He's like progressing nicely in terms of the step ups. He beat Maurice. He stopped uh, Maurice Hooker. Then he stopped Kavalakis, the mean machine, I believe uh, they call him. And now he's got Michael McKinson, who was undefeated when he beat the uh, or Caval. No, that's not mean machine. Kavalakis was twenty one and oh twenty one oh and one when he when he stopped him. So he seems to be progressing nicely. But like you said. He's still young and he probably needs some more seasoning before he gets to that top level. Although he's such a nice kid and such a tough guy, I'm sure if they offered him the fight, he'd jump right in there. But from a promoter's standpoint, you may want him to have a little more seasoning Listen, for those unless, next level guys. Uh, unless they're giving him as much money as you have, there's no way <laughs> that D. La Hoya is jumping into that. First of all, he's not really completely stupid, especially when he's sober. But, you know, he... De La Hoya only has him and Ryan Garcia, really. I mean, without them, he's out of business, basically. So there's no <laughs> way, there's no way he's he's feeding them to the Lions. Let's, let's leave it at that. Yeah. So that ain't happening. Now, as far as this fight, McKinson, you know, he had no power. Um, he's a southpaw, you know, which can be tricky. And, um, and he was very gutsy, no doubt about that. But, you know, he was a cutie. He was a slick cutie with no power. and um, But the steady pressure and body work of Ortiz finally broke him, broke him down. McKinson tried to, tried to fight with him, uh, which I thought was kind of not the smartest thing to do with a guy who's just better in that area and stronger in that area. But he did try to fight with Ortiz, but Ortiz was too strong. Uh, then he tried to use his legs. And Ortiz did the right thing, which you want to see in a smart fighter, a developing fighter, a future champion maybe. Ortiz took the air out of his tires with, you know, with the body work. Um, at the end of the day, Ken, it was a workmanlike job uh, by Ortiz getting it all done. Uh, and as I said, you know, um, keep him away from, uh, keep him away from those monsters right now. You know, uh, like like they have that thing on the pack of cigarettes uh where it says uh smoking these could be dangerous to your health uh the the surgeon general says to stay away from cigarettes they can be dangerous to your health right now um i'm not the surgeon general but 
uh, Teddy Atlas and Ken Rideout on the fight are giving you a little bit of advice you probably already know because uh, you have smart people which uh, stay away from those guys. Don't let your ego get involved. Stay away from those guys. Give yourself more time to develop. 